moment <clears throat> everything seems fine it's cooling properly there's no abnormal noise although in my paranoia <clears throat> I'm not sure if the noise I heard was from the new water pump or from the VTC gears which I know my gears need to be replaced but in any case it sounds normal it's uh, smoother at idle I mean before my car was shaking and uh, at idle and now nothing I've got vibration in the shifter but it's consistent it's not pulsing the uh, clutch pedal is the same thing vibration but it's constant also the vibration isn't uh, yeah it's not the same the vibration before wasn't just uh, what you could feel it was well it was shaking the shifter that's how violent it was so for now I'm just letting it idle for a bit get the coolant circulating then I'm gonna take it for a test drive and uh, see how it does and uh, the vibration is gone we know it was the water pump which uh, had 40,000 miles on it and was clearly bad which is actually over here oh god it got even worse sitting overnight yeah that noise got at least one bad bearing so that noise turkey call anyway put that aside uh, everything goes smoothly the next thing on my agenda is uh, replacing the <coughs> slave cylinder because I found an OEM one sitting in my spare parts that I have no idea where it came from but I'm gonna put it on and uh, well, at the end of the year, I gotta do my 120K, although I guess 60K at this point because we just did the water pump. That water pump lasted 40,000 miles, and I don't know why it failed other than the bearing went out and the impeller blade started to scrape the housing of the water pump itself. There's actually cuts in the metal from it scraping. Um, so I don't know what caused it to fail, but it was an aftermarket water pump, so I wasn't expecting that much to begin with. This one in the car now is an Import Parts Pro water pump. Again, aftermarket. I test it so you don't have to. How's that sound? Uh, in any case, I'll let you know if this one explodes. So far, nothing, but it'll probably take a couple days or weeks before it shows any signs of premature failure. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to continue to daily drive my car as normal, and uh, should something happen, well, expect another video.